Hello YouTube, it is 12.46 on Sunday the 9th of February and it's time to play a little bit of catch up with today in my boo journal. How are you? I hope you're alright. I'm really sorry there have been no videos the past two days. Um, Friday I just, I took a me day. I just didn't feel up to it. Did you see that? that was a five year old. What are, you, what are you doing? No, leave it please. Leave it please. I want to um, play with it. No, could you go play with all of the superheroes that are in the front room? Are you going to come say hi to YouTube? Oh. <laughs> cool. um, yeah, I took a me day Friday. Um, I just didn't really feel up to it. So, yeah, that was what I did. And then last night was my son's wrestling show. And it was fantastic. Uh, my brother-in-law is now tag team champion. And him, his, him and his partner won the tag team gold last night, which was fantastic. Um, the new girl, she's now the Isle of Wight Ta women's champion. Ta da! Um, what else? Um, what else was there? Um, yeah, most of the championship, all bar one of the championships, actually changed hands, which was fantastic. Oh, yeah, we've got a new um, OPW champion. Oh, we that have was some tools. Brilliant. You should have heard. We have some tools. The cheers. We when have, um, the. I haven't finished. I'm talking. You're interrupting me. Mm when the last um, OPW champion was actually pinned. I mean, this guy's fucking huge and he's been champion for ages. And when he was pinned and eliminated out of the mat, the cheers were just amazing. It was brilliant. So, right, could you take these into the other room, please? Out of my way. I know or I'm going to chuck them away. I know I want to tell them. No, they don't want to hear about your bits. Go on, off you go. You're not fair. I know, I'm mean and horrible and you hate me. Go on, shoo, I need room. I'm going to elbow you if you don't hurry up out of my way. Now you've dropped it, haven't you? And you don't even know where it's gone. Where is it? I don't know. I need light power. It's here in my pencil case, for fuck's sake. Right, now take it in the other room like I told you to. Go on. Fucking child. Mum, I want the doctor. Right, so I I've got to go man. back to... No, I said... Thursday night. Oh, I'm going to stop because I'm not getting my own way. Typical, the second I start recording, he's in here. So, let's find out how Thursday went in a minute. Right, I posted that I put finished week five up. I haven't done the Dara card for a bit. Um, right. So that was Thursday. Friday was, do you know what? I had a me day and I really enjoyed it. So that's going to be right back up there. Yesterday, yesterday was pretty fucking awesome too, actually, you know. So I'm going to put that across there. So it's quite good. Uh, pain wise, mm, took a little bit of a dip maybe on the Friday. Uh, yesterday was a little bit higher because I did a lot of standing at the event and I was bouncing about and recording and all of that lot and I've come to the conclusion that my phone battery is absolutely shit so I've ordered a little GoPro type thing and I actually got the idea off of a photographer who was there and she had this amazing little it was a little doohickey and it was attached to the back of my chair and she had it um, focused on the entry part on the stage and um, I said oh that's adorable where did you get it and she got it on amazon she was only 35 quid i said you're joking it's 4k she said yeah 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 i know she said it's really good 20 megapixel stills as well i was like oh my god i said how long does it record for she said as long as the battery lasts so i was like that's incredible so i went and like i took a note of what it was called and that and i went and had a look on amazon and it was 43.99 the one that i found but there's a 10 pound voucher <gasps> this is fantastic. Then I noticed it also does underwater shots, and Callie's been going on about wanting a camera to do underwater shots. So I said, Look at this, look at this, this is what that camera I was talking about last night. Said, Should we get one? And yeah, go half to share it. She said, I don't want to share one. She's a bit about her equipment, the same as I am with mine. Nobody's used my camera but me. Um, she's held it. Uh, Alex has held it. I spat it. Nobody else has held it. Nobody else has touched it. Nobody else has used it. It's my camera. And she's the same with hers. The only people that have held her camera are me, her partner, and a professional photographer. Um, that she did it she actually got to go in on a shoot the other way other day she's so chuffed um so i said okay i said well your birthday's the end of the month do you want one so she said oh wow yeah okay she said i'll buy you one for your birthday if you like and i'm like i'm not buying you one for now at the end of this month and then wait until june i said besides the 10 pound off finishes 
tomorrow. So she was like, oh, okay, she well, it's up to you. So I said, no, I'm, I'll, I'll buy a space one. So I quickly text my mum, can you lend me some money so that I can afford to get two? So she was like, yeah, whatever. So I went through, ticked the £10 voucher, went to, the, went to so put two in, went to my basket. It's only £10 per order. You can only have one at the £10 voucher. So I thought, okay. So I moved it back down to one, ordered one, went back in. It didn't give me the option to apply another £10 voucher. So I thought, that's a bit shit. So I phoned my son up and I said, um, any chance you could order this for me? I said, does it come up with the tech? He went, yeah. I'm transferring the money, order me one now. So he's like, oh, okay. Now hers will arrive Tuesday. This is on Prime, okay, because obviously on the Isle of Wight it takes that a little bit longer due to the ferry. You know, that's of course if the ferries are fucking, it might be even a little bit longer with the ferries not running. Um, that's a whole other story. So, um, yeah, the one I've ordered her is supposed to arrive on Tuesday. Mine, that he's ordered me, he doesn't have Prime, will be here by the end of the week. And it's still free postage. Can't complain at that, can you? Right, so, let's see. Um, I'm clicking the wrong thing. Sleep, no, steps, I wasn't clicking the wrong thing. Let's... Oh, I did quite well on Thursday. Yes, um, regarding the weather, I'm shitting bricks pretty much at the moment because as you all know, Tuesday, I'm going to Wales to get my hair done. At the moment, the ferries aren't running. We are stranded. And um, this weather is apparently going to continue for a little while. So I am absolutely panicking that the ferries are not going to be running when I need to get off the island on Tuesday. And I've paid a £100 deposit and I'm not sure what she'll do. Because basically the £100 is to cover the cost of the materials if I'm a no-show. Which I will technically be if I can't get off the island. I have texted her to see what the, um, what the, uh, what will happen basically if I can't get off the island. Um, will she allow me to rebook which will mean another fucking month of waiting or um, do I lose my deposit I really really hope she doesn't say you lose your deposit because I'd be really fucking pissed if she does right Friday I did the loo no this is Thursday's pen not Friday's pen I did the dishwasher Uh, God, I hate when I do shit like that. Right. Now, yeah, Picard was on Friday, not on Thursday. Let's move that across because I've watched it. April was on, but I was in, in bed, actually, asleep. So I apologise about that again. But that's just the way it goes. Right. Uh, thankfully, I'm using another brown. <laughs> As I go through my list of pens. Okay, so Friday I posted the card of the day. I know I did because somebody actually commented on it, which was quite awesome. Now, Friday I did my day face cream. I don't think I wore makeup. I didn't do the challenges and I did not have fizzy or alcohol. I know that because I had my headache yesterday. Actually, no, I lie. I had alcohol, but I had it with um, Fanta instead of with Coke. And I still itched, so yeah. Did I have chips Friday night? No, I didn't. We did homework, I know that much. Did my meds and I did my night care. Right. Didn't do my card of the day. I've done that. Okay, so Friday with the Fitbit. Friday I hit... 15,253. Still got a headache, but you know. Friday, I did the loo. I did some laundry because I had to do late night laundry for the show. That was right. Did a little bit of tidying in the office. The dishwasher went on. That's about it, I think. Now, Friday, I came to do my washing line. Isis had her bath. We did story time with the kids. I forgot to return the library book and I forgot to do the races because I'm a bit shit like that. 
Yeah. Okay. Now, I I have penciled in Friday. Um. So I'm thinking I'm going to put Friday in here and then do yesterday and today on the next sort of spread along because yeah it is all penciled in so I'm going to do that quick. So, <laughs> that took a long time. God, that took a long time. <laughs> um, yeah, we we're at an hour and 20 minutes so far and we're, we still have, like, Saturday to do. <laughs> so, I'm going to change out the pen. If you're wondering what I'm doing when I keep glancing up, I'm actually watching YouTube while I craft. So then I've got some, like, some background noise. So, yeah. Otherwise, I just get bored. <laughs> right, okay, so changed the pan yesterday I wore some day face cream did not wear makeup did not do the challenges I had less than a can of coke I did not have any booze I did not have chips I did not craft I did have my meds before I went out uh, yeah, we did some homework, I have my and I did my night care routine. 
Awesome. Okay. So, how are you liking the smaller tracker? Do you prefer it to the bigger one? I think I do. I think I like the fact it's all on one page. If that makes sense. So, I'm going to do a video on how to do this tracker. I just hope I make sense because it makes sense to me while I'm saying it. And then I'm like, does that make sense to anybody else? Sorry if I keep touching my head. My psoriasis is so bad. I look like I've got acne. And it's not, it's my psoriasis and it's really pissing me off. Okay, so we can't do that. We've done that. Oh, shit. All right, where were we? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I got a picture off of my daughter going, oh, look, there's a, there's a, there's a branch fallen off of the big tree the council refused to cut down, and it's now in our garden. And I was like, oh, God, how bad's the damage? And I tried to ring her, and she wouldn't answer me. And then my mum sent me a message going, how's your fence holding up? I said, well, better than yours, there's not a tree on it. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, these things are sent to try us. Now... I didn't post my sleep yesterday, so I'm going to have to post that today, so that won't get coloured in. Um, did I fill in all of this for the... I'm, I'm all confused now as to what I was doing. I think I was doing this, wasn't I? Yeah, there you go. So, yesterday... Where did I put the ruler? It's now suddenly turning into one of those days. I was doing absolutely fine and now everything is out on my desk making a mess doing my head in Indy, it's rainy it's shit weather my skin is absolutely burning with the agony of it <sighs> just like i am so done with this shit what else what else has happened i don't know because i can't remember now what i've said because i sort of took a break <laughs> don't you just hope that happens and I don't want to sit here and repeat myself I've just spoken to the lady who's doing my dreads on Tuesday and she's thankfully said you know if you cannot get off the island if the ferries aren't running that's fine I will rebook you you will not lose your deposit so I thank God for that because you know otherwise I'd, I'd have been down under a quid and that wouldn't be very good would it so yeah that's a, a bit of a relief, shall we say. Right, yesterday I did the loo. I didn't do any laundry. That's about all I did. I didn't do fuck all else yesterday because I was just, I was having a lazy day. So, yes, OPW last night was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Really, really enjoyed it. So let's go through it. Right, yes, I added in this little flippy thing friends this was our mum lunch the other other week that says memories all I did was I matted the photo onto another card basically there was like a grid thing on here that you write on and I wanted to cover that up so um I matted this photo onto another card and then stuck that card down where it says memories and then I stamped friends and then I realized that I'd done it the wrong way so if I wanted to flip that way it wasn't going to work so um, I had to lift this and redo it, which was why I was farting around with it so much. But yeah, I quite like how that looks. And that stamp, um, if you're interested, is my, uh, it's called the Lara Alpha by Kelly Stamps. I think they're Australian. Um, pretty sure that came from Australia. Good, good company to buy from. Um, yes, uh, Treat Yourself was that one. There was Daffodil, Periwinkle. This was my visitor sticker from when we went to story time at the school the other day. I did a little bit of journaling. Um, this was a quote that I was doing off of my thing. Um, Some days it's all right to learn the course of your flow instead of competing the high tides. And that's by Sonia or Instagram at Viva uh, underscore la underscore poema. Now, I think what I'm going to do is just make this all one page, like one massive spread covering yesterday and today. So yeah, that seems to be, that's what I've got in mind. Anyway, this was my wristband from last night. Um, 
and I'm going to stick that in here. I might pull that bit off just to. Oops. And that can go down there maybe, and then we'll add the rest in. So the prompts are Stephanotus, whatever that is, a cattail, a water lily. Uh, Miss Independent and Do You. Some di uh, if you spend an extra minute seeing, listening and feeling instead of merely looking, hearing and touching, I can promise you that your life and your love will go tremendously. They couldn't choose small fucking quotes, could they? You know, I might actually quit doing this one because it's getting to the point where it's taking up so much fucking room. What I'll do is I will switch to today's pen as well before I inadvertently colour with yesterday. So I right, stuck that in. So let's quickly just go through today. Not that I've done anything. I don't even put any day face cream on actually, but I am doing the challenges so I can colour all of them in. Oh dear, from like that day. So let's colour in all of these challenges. I've got no makeup on, my face is on fire, my psoriasis is so bad. There will be no coke and no booze today. My very likelihood there'll be no chips but I won't put that in until I know for sure whether I go bonkers and have chips. I'm going to post the sleeping steps as a double spread I think. Right, um... Let's do tomorrow's card. You are trapped by Batman. Am I? Okay. Hey, look who is here. <laughs> Batman. It, it doesn't get the difference between me recording the video and me being live. Yeah. Even though I'm like, look, there's no chat. He's like, oh, well, I want kisses and I want to show them this and I want to see, you know, and I'm like, but it doesn't work like that. And he understands about looking tomorrow and seeing kisses on the videos, but he's like, oh, for God's sake. Okay, so for tomorrow, tomorrow's card is going to be Marie Masquerade, Glamour, Intrigue and Drama. I'm going to pull the book out and read you what it says. So for Marie Masquerade, she is very much like the famed uh, Queen of France Marie Antoinette. She is stylish and delightful, always finding new and fascinatingly creative ways to amuse herself. Wherever she is, there is decadence and style, truly glamorous moments and lavish entertainments. But even she knows she is simply amusing herself and that there is a hole at the centre of her being where she wishes she were loved for who she truly is and could rely only on her talent and style to express herself and not be judged for this. To be her friend is no problem at all as long as you remain truly yourself. Only being with her has somehow made you wish to be more like her. Look beneath the mask and the beauty and the exquisite stylings and see into her heart. Be her friend and her companion but never forget who you are and what is important to you. She says, Marie Masquerade says, someone is about to invite you to be involved in something very intriguing. This person will ask you in ways that are ever so charming, so the temptation will be ever so strong. Because this person is beautiful and talented and powerful, you are flattered. But the truth is, you run the risk of paying a very high price for this brush with fame or glory. Be sure that the politics and the intrigues are one you truly wish for in your life because there is often a sacrifice that must be made and many consequences are currently hidden from you. It is tempting, no doubt, but it may not be within your best interests to pursue this strange, slightly tainted offer that will be made. Okay. So I've put Marie Masquerade, an offer may come your way. Is it genuine? What is the risk if you take it? It's very, very hard to condense what she says into two lines. <laughs> when she's got like a whole paragraph dedicated to it, I'm like, uh. So, yeah. 
her. Right, let's put her back there. I haven't done any stepping yet. And I need to if I'm going to keep with my, you know, 15,000 steps every day that I've managed so far. I'm not going to be able to do it Tuesday because I'm going to be travelling and then sitting all day while I have my dreads done. So Tuesday is when that fails. <laughs> and I feel kind of bad really because I've done so well at keeping it at 15,000 steps. Today I've had a bath. <laughs> And that's it I'm just like I can't be bothered I just really cannot be bothered today I wanted a day where I just wasn't bold and do anything oh, I could come in here and craft and you know I haven't done the the scores or anything like that and I just I can't be bothered I need to set up for the next week <sighs> right okay so let's jump into today I can put a sticky bit of paper down. Oh, arse. Oh, I shut my book with my, my glued up paper down. I'm an idiot. Okay, right. So I'm going to put nine. Should I, do, I think I might do it partly on my wristband from last night. Unfortunately, when you use an eraser, it does dull down where you've used the pen, you know? And I try so hard to be light with my pencil. <sighs> and it just makes a mess. So I'm like, uh, I think I'm using too hard a pencil lead. I need to find out what lead that is. Maybe get some bees or something. Right, there you go. If you spend an extra minute seeing, listening and feeling instead of merely looking, hearing and touching, I can promise you that your life and your love will grow tremendously. By MV Victoria. And then we've got the um, cattails, the 
Stephanotis and a water lily there. Do you and Miss Independent. Now all I've got to do is journal. I need to print up some photos of Alex. Well, it's mostly video footage I got of him last night, actually. So, um, yeah, I um, need to see if um, the other photographer, if she got photos of him. And if so, did she post them? And I'm going to borrow them and make a little collage there, I think. So that's turned itself off. Good, good. Or it's flat, one of the two. <laughs> so yeah, that's probably what I'll do is uh, Well for heaven's sake. Yeah, I'll stick a thing there, do a little collage. Because I want a picture of Neil holding the championships up as well. Just put that there. And then I can journal there, I think. Like journal sideways. That. just because I can yeah awesome okay um that is it we are we are caught up people we are we are here I think are, are we all caught up do you think let's have a quick look this is today so I need to do my sleeping steps tonight I've done that for tomorrow yeah I'll, I'll do those tonight or in tomorrow's vlog caught up with that I need to just put black lines around it all I'm up to date with that yeah hang on so far today I have stripped the beds and done the laundry I need to actually get on and put that in the dryer that's how long it's taken me to do this but I've been on so long that yeah there's another hour gone <laughs> um, yeah so that's all that up to date i've got a little list for tomorrow to do that was yesterday or in the last couple of days and then yeah fab okay so i'm gonna leave it there thank you so so much for joining me this is a big big long one wasn't it um i hope you enjoyed it i hope it wasn't too long or boring or whatever i I max hyperlapse as fast as I can when I do the hyperlapse bit so that you're not sitting watching me drawing or doing whatever for too long. Um, do you prefer to watch it or would you prefer it if I just like started lettering and then just cut to me finishing off? Which, which is better? Um, you know, I apologise. I know that I go like this and my head gets in the way. I try really, really hard not to, but it makes my back ache. So, <laughs> yeah um if you have any comments questions or suggestions please feel free to leave them down below i would really, really appreciate anything like that that you wish to add um thumbs up would really, really be appreciated i would love that loads uh every comment gets a like love or written reply oh pardon me see that's how tired i am look it's quarter past four that's how long i've been at this it's now quarter past four i'm exhausted <laughs> um I'm going to go off and get some dinner ready because, you know, it's time for Doctor Who tonight. Why even do a takeaway? Seriously thinking about it. A bit naughty, really. A Chinese at the beginning of the week. Anyway, I'm off. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in Monday's edition of Today in My Boo Journal. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>